In today's video, I'm going to run you through all my gadgets and tech that I use to live full time in the motorhome home in the UK. Stuff that I just would replace instantaneously, you know, that I can't live without. So that's crack on, shall we? Now I'm a real tech head. I love tech. I love gadgets. And it seems as though I've got a lot, but then in the same vein, it seems like I haven't because I've done a little list of, of things that I, I'm uh, going to run through. First and foremost, let's do the internet. Now I've got a Netgear router, which is in the wardrobe. It's just been moved into the back wardrobe. I had it moved not long ago. If you haven't seen the video of, of all the updates I've had, I'll put that in the description below. I've got a little antenna on the roof, which I'll pop up on the screen now. That's been working out really well. I haven't had that that long. I had one in my previous motorhome, different model, but it was an, an antenna on the roof to get better signal because you're in a metal box really or a tin can to be fair um so you want to try and it can block some signal so you want to get a, an antenna on the roof to try and get better signal to your router and i rely on the internet for, for the videos and for, for work now a lot of people ask me about my internet what i've got um i've currently got a prepaid ee sim card which uh i bought on amazon and i'll pop it up on screen now and i'll leave you a link in the description below the beauty of that is is it you can buy it and it lasts about between anywhere between 18 and 24 months but it's not a contract you're paying like 200 250 quid depending on how long it how long's on it and this and that mine worked out when i bought it i think i paid like 180 quid 200 quid and it worked out about 12 pound a month for the amount of time it had on it um it's still going now i think it ends june this year so and it's unlimited but it is a data only sim the one downside to this is you can't do any add-ons so if you're going to go across to europe that's it it does it stops as soon as you get across the water it stops so you can't do a like a a, a go abroad pack or a roaming pack or anything like that you can't add anything to it it's solely a data only sim once you've bought it you pop it in activate it and then that's it it works it works a treat in the uk and it is unlimited which is what i love and they can't up the bill for the whole time because you've already paid they, they, they're not, you, you're not attached to them they can't up it so which is really good because i've had multiple times when my phone contract have texted me saying oh yeah by the way your phone's going up this year by fiverr you know five pound a month which they can't do that so i will link that in the description below it yeah it is pretty good value for money you are paying up front but it is good value for money let's jump into the front of the motorhome and that's my tom tom my satellite navigation now I, I i've had a lot of questions again before why don't i just use google maps well, I am in an eight and a half meter motorhome. It is five ton in weight, so I have to be careful where I'm going. It's not as big as what I used to drive on the lorries, but you still have to be careful where you're going. You don't want to go down roads that are too small and you end up in one of them <laughs> sticky situations, which could get you either on, on a Facebook or a social media post or worse on the news because you got stuck and you hurt your motorhome that is not what we want so i've got a um an air uh, an apple air uh, apple carplay screen uh i think it's car car pride car i'll put it up on the screen now and i'll show you it. And, and again like i say links to everything will be in the description below it's really good it connects to my phone um i used it all the way through i've, I've had it about a year now no about about eight months maybe i used it in europe um, it was really good. I was driving around. I put my phone on my on my mag mount um, over in the corner, and then it just connects straight to it. And then you can have Google Maps on it. You can have your messages come through, and they they speak to you. Um, you can speak to it. You know, command it with your voice. Apple Music is all through it. All your all the apps are on this screen, which is really nice. And that's above my TomTom. -tom. Now. My TomTom -tom is a Go Camper Max. I think it's like the seven inch screen one. I bought that one uh, myself before I went to Europe because I wanted to have something that was dedicated for the, for the motorhome um, and for Europe because I didn't know what I was doing in Europe. And I can't fault that one really. The only one thing I did, did get annoyed that with that TomTom -tom is there is a setting to tell you when you enter or you're about to enter or go into a zone that charges you like a uh, ULEZ zone that setting by default is turned off so you have to turn that on you do I don't know why it's turned off by default everyone's going to want to know that they're about to get charged or, or fined for going in an area so that would 
you really want that on, wouldn't you? But yeah, apart from that, the TomTom Tom, uh, Go Camper Max is amazing. The CarPlay that I've got is really good. Uh, they work well together, and I have put the maps on together, and then like the 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 Tom Tom is saying oh it's going to be like fifteen minutes where the tur where the Google one says it'll be seven minutes because it's taking you through the country lanes which you don't always want to do so you know that's where it does show that it does work um, and yeah it's got really good lane lane separation and shows you everything and it's yeah it's really good really good um, now moving further into the motorhome I've got a Alexa. <laughs> and she's just listening to me now stop listening yeah so i've got an amazon from now on it's a show five so it's a nice little screen it pops up the weather pops up the time and everything and you know you can ask it things i love i love amazon um because i can just shout out you know set a timer for my chicken wings chicken wing timer five minutes starting now you know something pops up i get a text message i'm like boom you know remind me on such and such date to do this remind me to do that love it absolutely love it and i'm not the greatest with spelling so when i'm trying to do something i'm like hey how do you spell this and what's this and you know yeah brilliant and then just playing the radio and the music um here and there while she's pottering around uh, you know along with that obviously i've got my iphone which i can you know talk to the iphone and talk to siri and that but mm -hmm. The, uh, the Alexa really is pretty good to, to just sit there. I, I do. I would replace that immediately. And I've got a special cable because um, the, the Alexa Show 5 can be run on 12 volt with this special cable, which I'll, again, I'll link in the description below. It really does work well. My CCTV, that is Blink. I've got Blink cameras on all four corners of the motorhome on all sides. So I've got one that side, one that side, one on the back. I got one in the front, and I got one in the lounge, and I got one in the garage. So I'm all completely cameraed up. It's a really good system. It was cheap. Uh, I bought it on like an Amazon day or something like that, when it was a uh, Black Friday or something like that. So they're about, I want to say about 25, 30 pound a camera. Um, the beauty of them is no wires, no drilling, no nothing. They're just stuck onto the sides with VHB tape which hasn't budged an inch they've got a bracket and then they're clipped on and they're really good even when driving down the road you can still use them and still see them um, with the footage and they take uh, rechargeable lithium batteries so I bought some of them they were quite expensive because uh, they have to be 1.5 volt lithium rechargeable batteries um, we don't have to get rechargeables, but that makes more sense. So I, I then just recharge them and then just change them. And sometimes, if I'm not using them that often, because I don't have to arm the system, I arm the system. Then every camera is recording and is like detecting motion. They can run out, you know, after a week. Um, but it depends on how much you're using them. Um, but you do need a subscription with that because it's with Blink, and I believe I pay six pound a month, maybe. Um, and then it backs up to the cloud and then I can see it and, and, and all that good stuff. The one downside to them is I have seen on one one or two of them, there is a little bit of water ingress. I mean, they're going down the mo down the road at 60 miles an hour in the rain. They live outside. You know, they've, they've lasted about a year. We're coming up to about 14 months now um, that they've been on. So they're, they're doing pretty well. They're doing pretty well, to be fair, for the, for the price I paid. But there is a little bit of water ingress in the bottoms of them. And I can see a little bit of rust. So they will probably fail at some point. Um, and I'll have to replace them. And the only other downside is you can't see every single uh, camera all on one screen at once. You have to press one look at it then come out and then press another one and then go in and then look at that one but i like it to be uh, you know it's a simple solution to be able to arm it i can check them out at home when i'm away from it it's not really proper top security you know it's just it's just there so i can see them out at home and see make sure it's okay now let's move into a bit of entertainment so i have a benq projector screen now this was sent to me by benq uh, last year i think it's really good um we used it for the rugby when we were at uh one of the shows in the evening we come out um it was nice it was just getting dark we put it uh projected onto the back of john and tashi's motorhome because it's just a nice big white back uh white end the back of their motorhome and we projected the rugby straight on and it was flawless absolutely flawless i've watched it in here and i use i use these as my screen 
So I use the one that side and that works out to about a 40 inch TV screen in my motorhome. I just pop it on pretty much where the camera is now and I aim it at the at the wind window with the blind down and then I've got I've got myself a nice 40 inch TV. When I want a proper movie night or something like that, that is a really good option. And it is um like uh splash proof and waterproof and drop proof. So it is a good rugged version that is not cheap, but it is a really great version if you want um, Because I don't actually own a TV. I don't own a TV. So along with that uh, entertainment My main source of uh, viewing shall I say because I don't get that out all the time My main source of viewing will be on my iPad or on my uh, Samsung tablet now I do have both one because I love the Apple iPad because I do some drawings on it and I, I love the pencil and I love doing things like that. Um, and it works well with the Mac and it works well with making thumbnails and things. The Android, the Samsung tab, um, I had that a while back um, and I always have some sort of Android. You probably know how Apple kind of lock things on their ecosystem, whereas Android are a bit more... Uh, yeah, <laughs> a bit more open, shall we say? So you can have a little, a uh, few more apps to watch TV and movies around the planet. Um, uh, you know, take what you will from that. Um, that's that. So yeah, I've got those, but predominantly I use a tablet for my TV, um, my iPad really. Now you guys know I've just had my power system completely upgraded by the guys at Bluefix. Massive shout out to them. They've done an absolute fantastic job. It is, oh, it's a banging system. It really is. I'll leave a link to the video of all that to show you the, the system in its all, all its glory. Um, if any of you are looking for a system, then please do email me and I'll put you in touch with the guys and they'll sort you out a little discount. Um, but yeah, drop me an email if you're looking to get a, um, get a full system put in your motorhome or camper van and yeah, they'll hook you up. But I have had that put in and it is all singing, all dancing and I absolutely love it. I do have a backup. I do carry a backup. Now I don't carry a generator like a petrol uh, generator because um, they're noisy and I know I'm going to spell spill petrol everywhere and it's going to stink and I'm going to regret that. So I have my EcoFlow Delta Max 2. Now they are under here. When I say they, I've got the Delta Max 2 and the extra battery. They sit under this sofa. They're plugged into each other. They're ready to rock and roll anytime. I always keep them charged. And yeah, it, you guys know how much I love working with EcoFlow. Um, I'm working with them again this year. Um, we're going to do some more good, good stuff together. They've got some more great products coming out this year. And but the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max is my go-to backup source. So if I am somewhere and I've run, this, run my system right down and I need to stay here for another couple of days, I can charge my system back up. I haven't tested how much exactly, but I know there's a lot of power. There's enough power in there to get me for a couple of days at least to do what I need to do in the motorhome. So I'm not, <laughs> I'm not completely down and out. But it's also a great thing if um, someone else turns up and they've got problems at a campsite or problems at a meetup and they need power, I can whip them out, I can plug them in and they're good to go. The Delta Max 2 has got a massive, massive amount of power it holds and the inverter is... <laughs> The inverter is amazing. I'll put all the stats on the screen now because it really is um, a, a great showpiece. I've got the, I've got various other EcoFlows floating around, um, but that one is the one I would rely on, and I definitely, definitely recommend. If you was looking for either a plug and play system that you weren't gonna, you know, you might be uh, putting a camper together, but you don't know how long you're gonna do it. You don't know if you're gonna like it, and you just, you don't want to be drilling and putting things in and that. That would be a great, great thing to be uh, plugging and playing. But if you want a backup, again, it is a great, great option for a backup. Um, yeah, I love it. I love the peace of mind it gives me knowing that I've got energy there, just sitting there ready if I need it. So, yeah. <laughs> love EcoFlow. Love EcoFlow. Right. Let's move on to a few other of my gadgets. My Max fans. I've just recently had two Max fans fitted. Haven't really used them that much in this motorhome, but I will say I had one in the old motorhome and it was absolutely fantastic. Cannot recommend a Max fan enough. It can shift a crazy amount of air in no time at all. So yeah, Max fans are incredible. Can't wait to try them out this summer. Now I've got two. 
But yeah, definitely top of my list. Definitely top of my list to do to uh, try and keep the heat down. Let's crack on with the kitchen now. Air fryer. You guys know I love my air fryer. I do boiled eggs in my air fryer. I've cooked. I've cooked pretty much everything in my air fryer. I love it. It really is my predominant way of cooking in the summer and mostly over winter now. Um, now I've got the big system. Um, yeah, it, you, it, it's so convenient being able to use something that big because it's only me, you know, I'm only cooking a couple of burgers and some hash browns or something. I don't need my whole oven to heat up and I've got a great solar system on the roof and I've got the, the B2Bs when I'm driving. So I'm getting power constantly. So I might as well use that power to my advantage and to no cost to me because gas costs, you know, and I need to then find places to refill it. So... If I can use my air fryer and electricity, then I will with cooking, which goes along with my cooking pot. I've got a lovely little cooking pot, um, great for two people. Uh, you can get a bigger one, but it's just a little non-stick pot with a little uh, cable on the end, two settings, 300 watts or 600 watts. And yeah, you can do all your scrambled eggs. You can do fried eggs in there. It goes perfect with the air fryer because it's not too powerful. So you can have your air fryer cooking your sausages and bacon. And then you can have your little cooking pot doing your eggs, for instance, or your, you know, your baked beans or whatever you want to do. I have got an induction hob. I don't use it all that often, to be fair. I do like it. It is there. It works with all my pans. And again, it's a great way if I want to use my, my electricity. I have used it outside in the summer a few times. And I just want to cook, you know, some sausages or something outside. But I don't want to do the barbecue. Again, it's one of the ones where you can turn it up and down. and You, you can either choose temperature or you can choose wattage. So if you only want to use 400 watts, you turn it to 400 you know it's perfect the next best uh item is my deep fat fryer which is incredible crispiest chicken ever big shout out to to geeky phil's uh wife uh tess she has made a rub which is oh to die for it is so good it makes chicken taste amazing deep fried and yeah it really is a, a and it's perfect for van life because you can drain the oil down which filters the oil and then it stores it in uh like a container a sealed container and you lock it and it's all sealed away ready to be transported and it can't slosh around or anything like that so yeah my my deep fat fryer is incredible i love it lastly i would go into my like vlogging kind of youtube setup i no longer edit my videos luke edits my videos thanks luke cheers mate thanks for editing this <laughs> um so I, I i did used to edit on a macbook i've still got a macbook pro um i think mine's a 2019 model 2020 model um it works flawlessly i love my macbook i've got my ipad i've got my iphone i do a lot of filming on my iphone i've got a little mirror there so when i'm looking at myself you know it does get scratched up it is scratched up but i can then just like you know roughly see myself so if i want to point at something like that car there for instance i know i'm roughly on and i'm now i'm in set in shot so the iphone is a really good um tool to film yourself if you do want to get into youtube and vlogging and all this and that just start with your iphone or whatever phone you've got these days they're amazing and you you don't know if you're going to like it or not so don't waste your cash if you're going to do anything use your phone and get an external microphone and that is it you'll be good right now i'm filming on the osmo action 4 with a mic then i've got some dji mics so i can mic myself and mic someone else if i want to and then i've got a dji mini 3 pro drone to get some lovely drone shots every now and again that's kind of my kit which i've built up over time i've had bigger kits i've gone through all the cameras and bigger cameras and lenses and this that and the other and then it all gets too much and because you just want to be able to click record and get it that's all you want you don't want to be trying to set things up and doing things and taking forever so I've gone around the houses, I've done all the big cameras, I've gone full circle and then I've gone back to as minimal as I can with a phone and just a little action cam, uh, which work amazing. They really do. They work amazing. Um, I think that is all my gadgets. <laughs> it's just about to start raining, so I think I've just got uh, filmed this just in time. Um, I have got various other little gadgets, which I think I might do a video on the little bits and bobs and things that I've got, not the big stuff. But, um, yeah, 
I'd love to know what gadgets you uh, gadgets and tech you would replace. What's your top three? Because you, we've all got some top three gadgets and tech that we would replace with in an instant. Mine would be my air fryer, my internet, my modem, and my probably my MacBook. Uh, apart from my cameras, um, yeah, my MacBook would be one of them. Um, absolutely love them, and so I would replace them instantaneously. I'd love to know what you guys are uh, using and running and what works for you and what, what you've wasted your money on and what you don't recommend us to buy. Drop in the comments below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.